Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This is Stay Stace. This is going to be a little project share. This is what I made to enter into Vagabond Crafters Build Your Stash Swap, which she announced some weeks ago. These entries had to be postmarked by March the 27th. You send three, you get three back. So basically what we had to do was get these little photo albums from Dollar Tree, or actually you can get them from anywhere. But they had to be the 48 pockets that fit four by six inch photos. Um, I know I picked up some from Hobby Lobby as well, but they are a little bit smaller. I did pick up one for the host and hers is used in the Hobby Lobby photo albums. But what I'm submitting for the swap, my three here are definitely used in the Dollar Tree photo albums. So we also had to include either two die cuts or two store-bought ephemera pieces. And then on the right hand side of the page, we were just to put a piece of four by six paper. And this is to help the recipient build their stash with some die cuts. So you guys, this is how I chose to decorate the front of mine. I was inspired by this Tropical Bliss paper pad by Recollections. And I think that the papers in here are super, super cute. So I used up a good chunk of this paper pad. Still have tons of it left. But then I also knew that I wanted to incorporate some birthday dies that I had in. And then also just some miscellaneous dies. Some of them that I got from Kokorosa Studio some of them that I got from Timu. So I decided to make my little books and put them into sections. So I have a tropical section, a birthday section, and a miscellaneous section here. And so my books are decorated in the tropical type vibe. And this is what I did. So I believe I showed you guys in another video. This die came from Timu. It was a nested torn frame die um, and I think that it is super cute so I use this to cut out a piece of white paper on here to make my frame for the background shaker and I also distressed the edges in a blue and then I did these little algae plants kelp seaweed here at the bottom and I cut these out using my Cricut these stickers here are from the Dollar Tree and I thought that that went nice with the whole little vibe. These little wooden icons also came from Dollar Tree. I made up a cute little sequence mix and it is full of little sequence bits in here that I think are super, super cute. Um, I did seal my pockets with red line tape, so none of the sequins are going anywhere. And I feel pretty secure about that. And so, you guys, this is how it turned out. I added a cute little bow. There's a little clothespin here, a wooden clothespin. These came from Dollar Tree. I, I added a little cheesecloth in the background here, a little twine on top. I have some pom-pom trim here on the side. You guys, for this, I went through my stash and pulled out everything that I wanted to use. So I did get to use a ton of the items in my stash. And then I also made this little beaded bookend as well. And this one says die cut. Um, the other two says die cut too. And then on the host gift, I did do her name on it. So I think that that turned out super, super cute. For the most part, all of these photo albums are the same, including the paper that I use on the inside. So let's get a few of these out of the way and we can go through one really quickly. Okay, so here's the first cover and on here I did do some vinyl for the name of the swap and it's Build Your Stash Swap. And then you guys, I also used some of my Dollar Tree rub-ons, which were really, really easy to use. Some of them did stick, and so I wasn't able to use it. Like some of the gold stuck to the transfer sheet, and it just totally messed up the whole thing. But for the most part, I was able to use most of the rub-ons here. And so here I just have like a little well and then a little snail down here. And this clothespin is actually holding up a 3 by 3 card and I've showed these already for fun card Friday on a short I will have that link below in case you would like to go and check that out I think I'll also put the set of four on my Instagram page okay and then so this is some bling it also came from Dollar Tree I just removed it from the packaging and this is the entire sheet and then here I just use a seahorse clothespin which I think is super cute and then on this page I use this die and I think that it is so cute remember we only had to send two on some of them you'll see that I stuck true to sending two but on some of them I sent more than two and then throughout the book I also have some surprises so then that brings me to the first tab here 
Septeria 18 showed us these about using your paper scraps and then creating these little file tab collages. So that is what I did. Cutting out these four by six pages, you guys, left me with tons and tons and tons and tons of scraps. So um, I have to try to figure out some more things to do with all of these scraps. But I did take some of the scraps and I made these little file tabs with it. And I think that they turned out super cute. And I also used my little label maker and put the little labels on it as well. So this is my first page. I have my dies, my blank page, and then I just have my little file tab. On here, I have some fish die cuts, and then I did some of the little seaweed as well. On this side, this is extra. These stickers were also from Dollar Tree, so I included six stickers in each of the books um, to match this first tropical theme. On here, I have some lighthouses. I love the way that this die turned out, and it's a nice size, too. These umbrellas I actually did on the Cricut, and then there's two layers to it, and then a little handle. So I included two umbrellas, but all of the pieces to layer that up. And then here I just have some store-bought die cuts and these are just some flowers here. And then this is like a little Project Life note card. And then here I have some balloons. I have more than two sets in here as well. And then we're getting into the birthday section. So this is my little scrap paper file tab. So we didn't have to put the sheet of paper on both sides, but I like the way it looks. So I did include the sheet of paper on both sides. For this birthday section, I tried to use more of the paper from this girl paper pad from the paper studio. And it has some foil sheets in it as well. So this says happy birthday and I have several sets in here for that. These are little bag toppers that I got from Timu. These are cupcakes and it's two layers for that. So there's a top layer and then an offset. Some little banners that I got from Shein. This is a nested balloon. And I don't know if you guys can see this because it's clashing with the paper. Um, but I recently got this balloon die in. So I went ahead on and I die cut all of the sizes out. And so I included those. I believe it's six of them in here. And then here we're getting into the miscellaneous section. So here's another one of my scrap paper file tabs. And then here are some memory decks cards, some file tabs. These file tabs came from April Durden in the big package that she sent me. You guys, if you haven't seen those videos, it's two of them. Go and check that out. So I was able to share. So look. This was the huge bag that she sent me and I wanted to send more in here, but I also didn't want to bulk up the book. So I did send quite a few though in the book as well. Thank you, April, for that. Here I have two little flowers and I think it's three petals each and a leaf each. And so I have two sets of those. And then I also have some little um, key tags here as well. Some angel wings with a 3D embossing folder from Sizzix. And then I also have this decorated oval die as well. And it also has the 3D feel to it. I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely in there. And this is two of them too. They're just stuck together. I have a sheet from Dollar Tree. It was a full sheet and I just cut it down so it can fit into the book. And then they are double too. So I thought these were some fun craft shapes to have. And these are stickers. And then there's this paper hug style, the cow, some light bulbs, the typewriter, some keys. And these um, are milk carton boxes. These will have to be put together. Take two of them and the score lines and everything are on there. And then this piece is the topper piece. So I have enough for one box in this cute pattern color with a gold foil on it. And then I did one in white as well. And then all of them I am including some kind of surprise in. So it would be super cool to see who ends up being the recipient of the book. And so that is it. Can't wait to receive three back. And of course, I will definitely bring those to you in another video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.